Hi everyone and welcome to another Hero Arts video. This is Jana Smukula. Today I'm going to be working with a really fun stamp set called Tassels and I'm going to use it to create a few colorful and cheerful birthday and congratulation cards. I'm excited to get started so let's jump right in. I'm going to start working on my project by die cutting a couple of stars. The minute I saw this tassel stamp set, I knew I wanted to die cut something pointy to have the tassels hang from there, and these fun stars seemed like a perfect fit. I'm going to cut all three, all in different sizes, and all out of different colors of Hero Arts layering paper. I want to have a huge pop of color on my projects, so I'm making sure to cut enough stars. Now, the color combo that I'm using today is bright yellow, light pink, dark pink, or more of a coral color, white, and some black. The color combo was actually inspired by a Hero Arts product. Hero Arts has these cute little ink cubes, and one particular set of cubes, I think it's called uh, Sweet, has all of these colors plus some orange. I was looking at it the other day and I thought it would make a fun uh, color combo for a card. Now, obviously, you can pick whatever colors you like. These cards are rather feminine, but throw away the pink and add some greens and aquas and you have a masculine card. Super easy and super fun. Okay, let's go back to our project. Now, I will confess, I didn't get it right the first time or the first two times, so this is actually the third attempt to make this card. And I know it's going to turn out awesome because now I know what not to do. So go ahead and arrange a couple of stars onto your card base. I'm using Hero Arts Sunshine layering paper for my card base today and I have folded it colored side in. I love to do this. No one ever expects the inside of the card to be other, any other color than white. So go ahead and add a couple of stars onto your card base. Alternate the sizes and the colors for the best result. I've used my tape runner to adhere the two larger stars directly onto my card base and also foam tape to adhere the smaller stars. I ended up having about five stars on each of my cards. It's best to go for an odd number, like three or five or maybe seven if you're making a larger card. The even number of stars just doesn't look as nice. If you didn't cut enough stars for your card, you can also use partials like I did here on one of my projects. I totally cheated there, but nobody's going to know. So be sure to trim the excess to have nice clean edges for your project. Next, go ahead and stamp the sentiment in black ink. I'm using black because I already have too many colors here on my project and I need the sentiment to stand out from the background as much as possible. So black is my best choice here. Now you can go ahead and start stamping tassels. I said that this was my third attempt to make this card. The first two times I didn't adhere the stars down, I only placed them onto my card base, outlined with a pencil, removed them, stamped the tassels, and then put the stars back on. Honestly, it didn't work well. First of all, I didn't stamp the tassels in the exact spots that I had planned. Second, because I had the stars caught in various colors and I didn't really pay attention which color was going to be placed in which spot, I didn't pick the best colors of ink to do my stamping, and quite frankly, I just messed it up. So I decided I would adhere the stars first and then carefully stamp the tassels. This way turned out to be much easier for me and the cards turned out much, much better. Now back to the stamping. Since I had yellow, pink, and coral uh, stars used for my project, I used matching colors of ink. A bright yellow, also a light pink, and a dark pink. I'm using ombre to orange and pink to red ink pads today because my images are small and I don't really need to grab a full size ink pad. I can just use my ombre pads and maybe even do a little ombre stamping here and there. I also added a couple of stars and I stamped those in yellow and light pink. Now as I was stamping my images, I did get some ink transfer onto some of the die cut stars and I had to figure out a way to cover that up. I ended up using a couple of black pearls and added those as little accent pieces to each of my cards. It actually matched very nicely to the black sentiment. So here's one final look at all of the cards created using Tassel's stamp set and stylish stars dies from Hero Arts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section on YouTube or on Hero Arts blog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.